this is the day for videos because Knit Crate came in today also. So let me do a real quick review of my Knit Crate yarns. And this month was a little different because of what is going on in the uh, world at this point. So as a result, Knit Crate did not get their regular yarn that they had ordered delivered to them because it was coming from outside of the country. So they modified their plan this past month and they are sending you plain undyed yarn and Kool-Aid to dye your yarn with. So let's take a look at what they sent me. They sent some of their in-house yarns from their uh, yarn supplier. This is a fingering weight. It is 75% merino, 25% nylon, and there are 407 yards per skein, and I have two. So there they are. And they smell very sheepy. Sometimes when you get yarn, it doesn't have a smell because it's been dyed and washed and everything. I mean, this has been washed, but it still has the sheepy smell. When I finish dyeing, it will smell like Kool-Aid. Um, so anyway, they send us this, and then they send you, for this month, two packs of, <laughs> yeah, let me turn them right side up. Two packs of Kool-Aid. I got the neutral color, so these are not necessarily neutral, but you can combine them and they come out more of a brown if you combine the orange and the purple together. Uh, so they send you Kool-Aid packets based on your color option, and then they also included a zip tie, and you may wonder what is the zip tie for? When you dye yarn so you don't dye your hands as well, you actually use the zip tie and it loops through your yarn once you untwist this and that way you can pick this up by the zip ties rather than having to actually touch the yarn or anything. So that's what the zip tie is for. And then they also included this, their pattern color or their yarn colors this month are just called blank canvas. And they are including, different people got different yarns, so you might have got it in a different weight yarn, which would be kind of hard to send you patterns based on that since different people got different weights. I'm glad I got the fingering because that's my favorite. But they do give you a code, and I'm going to hold my finger over it. They give you a code on the back here that will take you over to the Knit Crate website, and it gives you a special entry to be able to go in and look at patterns that are past patterns that they've had um, for this month only. And they also have a video done by this lady here who teaches you how to dye using the, um, the Kool-Aid. So the lady's name is Rebecca Brown and I have watched her podcast before. She has a YouTube channel called Chem Knits. Uh, she, it says she is a passionate knitter and yarn dyer while working on her PhD in biochemistry and molecular pharmacology. Rebecca started Chem Knits in 2008 as a lab notebook to chronicle her knitting and her early yarn dyeing adventures. In 2010, she created the Chem Knits tutorial YouTube channel and started filming yarn dyeing experiments with food coloring and Kool-Aid. So she now uses um, acid dyes, natural dyes, and even candy. So um, yeah, so anyway, she has a YouTube channel called Chem Knits. So if you wanna go over and check that out, you can. And then also the, um, the yarn dyer, this comes from dyersupplier.com. They give you a coupon code that you can order more if you want to and get a discount of 15%. And Let's see, what else can I tell you? I said there's 407, there's 415 yards per skein. So I have a total of 830 yards. Now, what I am going to do with this, rather than have just two skeins of yarn, I'm going to cut these in half so that each skein, instead of having 415, I'm going to have roughly 207 yards 
and have two skeins. So altogether, I will end up with four skeins of 200 and a couple yards each. That way I can play with the die a little bit more. So I think that'll be fun. And then the other thing he included, now this part I did have to laugh about. Okay, they sent this little, you know, little smiley face, you can see, and it says knit crate right here at the bottom. And inside it opens up and it is post-it notes and these little short posty things here which are very handy for using with your patterns. Here's the part I had to laugh about. This whole thing with Knit Crate this month not being its normal thing is because of what's going on, because of the virus. That's, that's why we didn't get the regular yarn and they had to like substitute this and come up with a backup plan. So they send us this. Check out where it's from. Yes, I thought that was kind of ironic. But anyway, yes, it's like, okay, should we quarantine it before we touch it? <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was that was a little on the funny side there. So if you would like to try out Knit Crate, and they are going back to their regular dyeing stuff. This was just a one-month event where this kind of happened, but I think it'll be fun. Um, next month, they are back into their regular dyed yarns. And if you are interested in trying it out, you can for $5. Your very first box is $5. If you use the link down below, you can get your very first box for $5. And that includes the shipping, everything, $5. If you don't like it, you can cancel it at any time online. Uh, just make sure you cancel before the first of the month. Otherwise, you will be billed the full amount, which is normally $24.99 a month which really is not that bad when you think that these are luxury yarns, $24.99, and that includes your shipping. So take $5 off of that $24.99 just for shipping alone comes to like $20. And so two skeins of yarn, you're pay basically paying $10 per skein for luxury yarn, plus you get four patterns every month. You get two crochet and two knit patterns. So it is a good deal. Um, and I have not usually been disappointed, and I'm not disappointed this time. I knew what we were getting and why why it happened this way. And dyeing yarn can be fun. It can be a little disastrous in my kitchen, um, but it, it, it can be fun. So Wednesday's video this time is going to be me dyeing this yarn. I have dyed with Kool-Aid before, as you guys know. I have I have dyed with it before. I have filmed it before. I, we're hoping I improve my skills, and I'm hoping that by watching this lady's tutorial that I increase my skills quite a bit. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to be playing with that, and that's going to be Wednesday's video is me dyeing the yarn again. So stop by to watch the chaos, because you just never know what ha might happen. Last time I, I, Last time I had the thing explode in my microwave, and I'm still getting purple out from inside the corners of my microwave. So... Yes, it could be exciting and fun. Yes, yes. Cheap thrills if you come watch me dye yarn. So, um, yes, that is this month's Knit Crate. And thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for our regular Saturday video.